A lot of challenges to shooting the scene, the, not the least of which is simulating the arid Essos uh, wasteland in a giant, very cold paint hall shed in, in Belfast. The most grand interior is the one of the Dothraki Temple, which is like a huge woven structure with a fire pit in the middle. A circular fitting seems to be appropriate for a temple and for the center of a, of a, a city, a civilization. The temple's a semicircular structure which is supported by these beautiful old carved wooden totem pole type uh, design that Gemma's came up with, which looks really good. They're made from plaster, so we, we, uh, we sculpt it first in clay to make sure we're happy with the shape, and then they're cast into molds, and so we can take various casts of plaster from them. It's a very organic world. It's not as architecturally strong as the, the north or the south. It's mainly done with willow, with tree, with bamboo, with the floors are always mud, clay, compacted. We sort of use some of the ideas of the marsh Arabs to have these kind of strange curves, but they're huge. I mean, they're much, much bigger than that. The shape came together, and uh, hence our lovely upside-down boat shape for the earthen tents. <laughs> She has to read the whole heart. Hope that wasn't my fault. She's doing well. She'll never keep it down. Today, we are shooting a scene where um, a ceremony is taking place in which Daenerys, my little sister, has to eat a fresh horse's heart. Relatively early on in the process, we, we knew we kind of had to get out ahead of the challenge of designing a realistic looking horse heart that was also an edible horse heart. Gordon, the prop master, had it made out of the gummy bear material. So it's basically a giant three pound gummy bear covered in fake sugar blood, which had the, has the added attraction of drawing real flies. There has to be something that you can actually uh, eat, but also look as if it is something unpleasant and muscly, uh, something that you really wouldn't want to put in your mouth. When you looked into it, it was kind of almost foamy, but it was tougher than you thought. And then they had these, uh, I think it was like dried pasta maybe, to sort of be, be, <laughs> be the kind of uh, the valves and stuff. So I really had something to chew on and kind of bite. And I mean, it looked, it looked very, very, very real. I was super proud of her, A, because uh, just being Amelia, she had to eat a gummy bear the size of a child's head all day long. You don't just take one bite when you're shooting a scene like this. You take one bite and then another bite and then another bite. Amelia is tiny. She would pick up this thing and it was about half her size. And it's a little bit like a, one of those challenges from one of the reality shows where the contestant has to eat something incredibly disgusting. In this case, she had to do it over and over and over again because the whole scene is about her eating this heart. And I don't know how many takes we shot. When you're looking at someone eating a heart, there's kind of only one way to look, which is like, <laughs> You just kind of, you just, it's fascinatingly disgusting. You see them sort of like, you know, give it a good coating of blood before you eat it, but, and I had a fair amount already on me, but the, yeah, as you're ripping into it, it really does go everywhere. In the scene, it's a big question, will she vomit or will she not vomit? And that was a big question in reality as well. I think if we had had one more take, it would have pushed her over the top. The wretch that you see there where she almost throws it back up is real. She really was, you know, just barely holding all that gummy bear heart down. She, she was really <laughs> disgusted by it. They left her. Today. Rainbow, 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 rainbow.